and I want to welcome you to this week's Mimeograph Monday. And um, before before I get started, I have to show you my t-shirt. Okay, so look at my t-shirt. So I don't know if if you are Walking Dead watchers or be in the Walking Dead. Now there's a Beyond the Walk. There's like all these Walking Dead things or whatever. So I don't know if you are. Um, one of those people that watch it, but I am. And um, so I also get like a quarterly box and there's like t-shirts and stuff or whatever in it. So I remember when I got this t-shirt and I was like so excited, you know, I wore it. And then of course the episode happened and then I hated this t-shirt. So then I gave it to Eric, but then I got to be like, ah, oh, I want my t-shirt back. So last night was the um, here's Negan episode. So I had to wear it today um for that so if if you don't you probably like whatever we don't watch that but if you do you you probably understand so one thing was weird was he's digging in the field to find a bat and he finds his bat out of this whole field i can't even find my bone folder on my desk and he finds a bat digging around a field with a shovel so you know there's that okay <laughs> So I'm gonna get started with this week's Mimeograph on Monday and it's super cute, I think. So um, let's stop a blabbing and we will get started. All right, so let me turn you over so you can see what's going on. All right, so I'm going to be doing this super cute. Now, I'm going to be using the Handsomely Suited Bundle. So you have your Handsomely Suited, and then you have the suit and tie dies. So I'm going to be using, using those, but um, it's so cute. So, but not only do they have cute samples in the catalog where the stamp set is, or the bundle, but they also ha have, hello, hi, um, okay, I'm gonna pronounce it, Aniki, I hope I pronounced that right, but thank you for joining me. Okay, so, but they also have cute, when they talk about the bundles in the back of the catalog, they also have cute samples there too, so that's where I got my um, Mimeograph Monday that I'm gonna make today. So this is what I'm going to do, and it's super, super cute and easy so i have my little um instruction sheet so that's where i have all the um stuff i need to use now i did notice that they forgot to put the punch so hey sometimes me doing these is good because maybe there's something that you didn't see i also have eaten all of the chocolate in the house so we are going to be covering what i have plenty of and they are fat free, that is a great thing. And they are the mini Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to be covering this instead. Um, and let's see here. So here is the stamp set. I know I showed you in the catalog, but it's so cute with the little ties and it's got some fun greetings. So, but you know what? I mean, I remember wearing ties in school. So it's not just for, to give to a guy. All right, and then here's the suit and tie die. So this is the, the um, tie that I'm using. And then it has this little um, oval over here, which gives you your center, which also would have made cute little, um, it would have made cute little Easter eggs. So, but anyways, and then the, the buttons. So what's so cool about the buttons is it's one die. Hey Jackie, it's one die, let me pull it out. And it has a pocket, it's just got some fun, fun things. It even has like one of these. So I need to pull out, um, I need to pull out my die that does the little purses because it has one of those too and I'm wondering if they're similar. All right, so see when you do the, when you do the buttons, it does six at one time <clears throat> and it even has the little round things and the thread marks it is so so cute all right so let me pop that back in there so when you punch them out this is what you get 
like they punch out and you have these six little dots. So I haven't decided what I should do with this because this looks like it wants to be made into something. All right, so let me get this out of the way so I don't drop it on the floor, which I have done many times. Okay, so we are using, so this is the punch that it did not have mentioned. So this is a scallop tag punch right here. And this is actually retiring. So if you don't have this punch, you wanna make sure you grab it. Hey, Stacy. And then, so what I'm using is the Flowers Forever Season DSP and it's the um, yellow strips. <clears throat> now, if you wanna make this like a girly girly shirt, you totally could and just change your paper. So what I did was I cut my strips down and it's just a six inch because it's a six by six um, DSP. So I just cut um, just barely in the two. You just want to come in a little bit from the two inches. So I just went two. So it's basically two by six. And then I scored it a quarter of an inch on the edge of each piece. And that's because I'm going to hook them together and I want the dimensionals to have like kind of somewhere to sit. Now, if you have chocolate on hand and you're actually covering, you know, the Ghirardelli chocolate, it would be a little different, but this is if you want to cover your dimensionals. All right, so I'm just popping that in there and it just stops, so you can feel it stop. So just punch, throw that away. So see, you have to have it just under the two. If you cut it at the two, it's really hard to get in there. So just, just a hair um, short of two inches gives you the perfect, perfect shape. All right, so let me bring my little grid, not my grid sheet, but my silicone mat over. So I'm just going to crease that up there and crease that there. So these will get glued together like this. So I'm gonna put a little bit of green tip glue. So putting a little bit of green tip glue just on that right there. And then I'm going to bring this one over and I want this one to go in there. So I'm just going to eyeball. I want them to just kind of get hooked together. So it doesn't take too long for the green tip glue to set up. So I like the green tip glue because it holds really good, but it also gives you a little bit of wiggle room. So if you um, need to adjust it a little bit, it um, is going to let you adjust it. So I'm just looking at my, so I'm looking up here just to make sure that that is even, right? You want this to be even. So just kind of give it a rub. I just want it to be pretty much stuck before I go on to the next, the next um, step. So, all right, give it, give it a push there. All right, so that looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this aside and let that dry good and what I want to do is I want to get my other little um I want to get my little um what is this my little tie I want to get a, a grid sheet I think you might be able to see better if I use a grid sheet I might go back to my wood grain um whatchamacallit because sometimes I think it's a little hard to see on the darker. Okay, so here we have our little our little bow tie. And then this is that little Easter eggy kind of shape oval. And I'm going to put a dimensional or a glue dot in the center. And then I'm just going to lay that on the center. And then I'm just folding these little ends because there's a, these little ends that stick out. So I'm just folding them so they wrap around the tie. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the green tip glue and just do the same thing. 
I'm just gonna tack that down. So just take my pick tool and my finger. So I'm just going to hold that just a second, just till it sets up. And it doesn't take very long. And it will also stick to your finger. All right, let me scoot down a little bit. All right, so let me set that aside. All right, what else do we need? Okay, so let's see. This should be dry by now. So now what I wanna do is I'm opening up my um, doohickey so that I can decorate it. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna make sure I'm doing the front side. So to me, the front side is a side that you cannot see this. So it's kind of hard to see on the picture, but see this line right here? So this is where you glued. So this shows the back side of that paper. So I'm kind of anal. So to me, that's the back because this just shows the nice scored edge. So that's the side that I want to be on my, um, on the front so you don't see that raw edge of the paper so you just want to be aware of that or you can decorate your your stripped strip first and when you glue them together just make sure you glue them together properly or not properly but if you're anal like me um just glue so that you have that raw edge towards the back okay so here is the cute little um what would you call this collar that it punches out and it's very very thin here right so you just kind of want to be very gentle with it if it rips do not worry about it it does not really need to have to stay together but you know i'm just leaving it to stay together all right but i'm going to put a couple dimensionals because i wanted mine to pop out i don't think they used dimensionals it didn't look like it popped out on the one in the catalog, but I, I like my, my, um, my dimensionals. So, all right. So we're just going to peel that off. And like I said, just kind of be gentle with it. If you're worried about it, you could totally cut them apart. Don't worry about it. And then you're just going to, it's just the collar and then the tie is going to go over it. So you won't even see that. All right. So peel this off. Then I'm going to stand up because I want to make sure I'm on there straight. So I'm going to put that on there and I want the collar to go out just a tad on that side and that side. It just barely hangs out. Just barely hangs off there. All right. Then I'm going to take my bow tie and I'm also going to put glue dots or dimensionals I swear I always say the wrong thing all right I'm gonna put my dimensionals on the tie as well because I want it to pop as as well I like a lot of dimension hi Harris all right peel this off all right and then that is going to go here like that. So you have this cute little tie. Isn't that so stinking adorable? All right, then we have our buttons. So we have a much longer shirt than when you were just coloring or covering like a little Ghirardelli chocolate. So they only have three buttons but I have a much longer area to cover. So I'm going to put five buttons just so that it doesn't have this all, all this um, empty shirt on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take my green tip glue and I'm just going to put a little drop. One, two, three, four, five. And that looks eyeballish to be about even. Then I take my pick tool and I and I finally found my other doohickey because I'm always using it just out of that. But I found my other um, stem or whatever you call it. Pen holder, the thing. All right, so now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
too. They are so cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot handle it. I mean, they thought of everything with the little, the little lines. I'm like turning all my little ones over here on this side. Because of course, they were all flipped upside down. So, three. Isn't this already starting to be so cute? And I should have cleaned the little chads off the side. Four. So, you know, you can cover anything. Like I said, it was supposed to be a Ghirardelli, but um, we ate them all. So I'm coloring up the pack of dimensionals. Okay, so that is our little buttons. So I'm going to let them dry a little bit. So then what I want to do is I'm going to take the greeting and I have a piece of the Misty Moonlight cardstock. They do make our cards special. Let's see. The IE sound is first. E Eniki. Eniki. Is that right? All right. So... I'm going to stamp with the white craft, my thank you, and then I'm going to quickly get it into the white embossing pattern. I should have had that lid open. All right, stick that in there, tap it off, and then you can look at this cute little blouse while I go and heat, heat this. All right, and always unplug your heat gun when you're when you're done with it. All right, so let me close my ink pad and close my embossing powder. And these are just little, what are these? Systemas or something? So I think I have a video forever, forever ago where I showed those. Okay, so these, so I have my little thank you. So I am just going to cut around that just with my scissors. And I don't even know if I would call this fussy cutting when it's just straight cutting. So cut. So we have our think. But I'm trying to think what else you could cover. I mean, anything small. And I thought, oh, I will um, cover the gl glue dot box, but it's thick. And then you do want it's you do want it to be so here's the here's what it's going to end up be but you want it to be like close enough so when you put your um ribbon so the glue dot box was so thick that it just didn't look right so but um okay so we have our little the buttons should be dry by now so i'm going to bring my thank you right here so I'm going to attach that with glue dots. So I have, thank and you. All right, so we have thank. You get off of there. Kind of crooked like that because that's what Stampin' Up did. All right. So we're gonna just going to get our holes together. We're going to get our pack of mini dimensionals. Stick those in there. Now, if you want this not to be sliding, then you could add a little bit of adhesive so that you actually um, will be gluing this, you know, to the to the dimensionals. But if you might want the person that's getting them to be able to use the little belly band again for something else. So I just kind of left mine loose like that. All right, so the ribbon is actually 
because the DSP was the flower for all seasons DSP, but the ribbon is the flowers for every season ribbon combo pack. So it comes with like the three different ribbons. This is like one of my, I shouldn't say one of my favorites, but it is one of the um, ones I use all the time, but this seems to be the one I use the most of and the white. So I love that it, this one used um, this pretty paper, this pretty here, but this, um, if I marked my catalog right, is not retiring. I guess I should look at the new book. All right, in case I made a boo-boo, because that could happen. All right, so we have just the two pieces go right into there. Then you grab your loop, and then you just pull them through. And what the heck did I do here? Hang on a minute. I might want to have it be the right way. All right. I had too short. Ha ha ha. All right. Here we go. One more time. Loop it through. Good grief. Good grief. All right. There we go. I think I put it through the wrong ones. Okay. There we go. That's better. Because there's actually, it's actually like three threads. Like there's a white. A blue, silver, fiery looking stuff. So there's, but, so isn't that so, so cute? I think it's adorable. So you need to definitely, if you don't have um, this bundle, you want to make sure you get it because even though it is not retiring, you are not going to be able to get it as a bundle in in the new catalog because you can only get bundles like and save the bundle price when it comes out the first time so if you wait you're going to have to buy the stamp set and the die separately and then you know you won't you won't save that little bit but i think they turned out so so adorable so if you want to um oh you also don't want to miss out because the registration to sign up is tomorrow. And that is for the Sweet Ice Cream Virtual Class. So this is the one that Marcy and I are both doing together. So if you're in Canada, you can register. If you're in, in the States, you can register. But tomorrow is the registration date. And that has the Sweet Ice Cream stamp set. And then there's an optional. You can add the matching punch if you want it. Which is very hard to see because of the shine. So it has the matching and you're going to do six adorable cards. Oh my gosh. We put a cute little um, kind of sneak peek so you can kind of get a little idea um, of what they look like. And this one's got a piece of dimensional on it. There we go. So you definitely want to um, sign up. So tomorrow is the, the, the date. And, um, and I can't remember if I talked about. So my teach me. Um. My Teach Me Tuesdays that I do in my <clears throat> Facebook group at 3 o'clock on Tuesdays. I'm going to pre-tape that today and then load it up so that it will go. Um, only because Jeff and I go for our second shots tomorrow. And we go to Tucson to get ours done. And um, so... That whole, you know, getting there and getting back and a whole thing. It's like four and a half hours, you know, turnaround. So, of course, we're going to be in Tucson when I, when I usually do my, um, my live. So, instead of just not doing it, I thought, well, today I'm just going to pre-tape and then I'll just load it up. But so it'll load on um, here on YouTube, but usually I do it live in Facebook. So, um, so I need to see if I can put the, I'm just trying to think how, how to make it go, uh, go, um, live. So I might just set it, you know, right before we leave and it just will be earlier than three. You know, I don't know why I try to make it confusing because it doesn't have to be. All right. So thank you so much for, um, joining me today for the Mimeograph Monday. And, um, hopefully you'll make some of these because they're so stinking cute, I think. Um, and they would make, um, 
the fun little well they well they actually would make a cute just tag right like it wouldn't have to um be double-sided like that to to hold something it would be cute as a tag on on a bag father's day you know um is right around the corner um i think they would make look really cute all different um colors and stuff on like if you did like a spring tree you know like some people decorate you know the little trees for the seasons so you know just give you some ideas what you could do other than you know a tag or whatever but so if you do do it i would love for you to um share with me what what you ended up wrapping you know if you did it that way so all right so i am for sure gonna stop blabbing now have a great um monday and um i will see you later bye for now